Now at 5 a.m. on WKYT This Morning, a Kentucky police officer is recovering after being accidentally shot by his own gun. Support is growing for the seven-year-old who survived a Kentucky plane crash that killed her family. And tips for keeping your kids healthy as we head into Kentucky's peak flu season. Tracking, alerting, protecting. This is WKYT This Morning. Good morning. It's Monday, the first of the brand new year, and we're glad you're with us. I'm Bill Bryant. And I'm Rebecca Smith. Hope your 2015 is off to a great start. It's going to get off to a cold start. It certainly is. We're headed that way, trending mm -hmm. that way as the week goes along. Looks like tomorrow night's really going to be bottoming out. Here's WKYT meteorologist Mike Harris, back from a little holiday break. Good morning. Hey, little is uh, is kind of an understatement, man. I had a week off. It was nice. Sleeping to 7, 8 a.m. isn't all that bad. Let's just put it that way. But I'm glad to be back with you guys this morning. First Solar Defender Live Radar, I promise you this, I didn't bring this cold air. I came from the south, all right? So uh, going to visit family and friends, it was really nice down there. And now we're back to the cold. 18 degrees there in Lexington, 18 there in Frankfurt, 20s down south. We go toward the afternoon, and it doesn't change all that much. I mean, it's still going to be very cold. We'll have some sunshine. It's not going to help too much. 26 degrees this afternoon, but we stay dry now. The focus of the forecast, the temperatures now are actually Fairly warm considering uh, we're going to be with the coldest air of this winter by far. And I'll show you how cold we go because it looks like maybe some below zero. I'll show you that coming up. All right, Micah, we'll see you with all those uh, details shortly. Let's get to the news now. A seven year old girl who survived a plane crash in western Kentucky that killed her family may be able to help federal investigators. The private plane crash Friday in Lyon County, killing the girl's parents, her sister, and her cousin. The National Transportation Safety Board investigating the crash and the young girl is back with family in Illinois. Jimmy Kowenty Hillary Thornton is at our live desk to explain how the sole survivor of the crash could be uh, to help. There to help. Good morning, Rebecca and Bill. That's right. Only seven-year-old Sailor Gutzler survived the Friday night crash in Lyon County. Her parents, Marty and Kimberly Gutzler, nine-year-old sister Piper, and 14-year-old cousin Sierra Wilder all died in the crash as they were traveling back home to Illinois from Florida. The NTSB has started removing the plane from the crash site. They say the pilot, Marty Gutzler, reported engine trouble over western Kentucky. They think he was then headed toward Kentucky Dam State Park Airport, but clouds could have made a visual landing difficult. The plane crashed less than 10 miles from the airport. Investigators say the sole survivor will help them figure out what went wrong. Having someone that is a witness always helps us in the, in the investigation. It gives us um, kind of a storyline. What she knew from that point was something to the effect that uh, the plane was upside down. Her family on board was unresponsive. She believed that her, that her family was, was deceased, uh, but that she, th she hoped that they were just sleeping. Sailor was still strapped to her seat. She only injured her wrist in the crash. They say she used her good arm to free herself. She then walked nearly a mile through woods to a home for help. The NTSB hopes to have a preliminary report on the crash soon. A final report could take more than a year. Meanwhile, friends have set up a fund to help Sailor. We have a link to that site on WKYT.com. At the live desk, Hillary Thornton, back to you. All right, thank you so much, Hillary. Appreciate it. And uh, meanwhile, new this morning, an Eastern Kentucky road is back open after an overnight rock slide. Old Kentucky 11 in Owsley County was closed around midnight near the BP gas station in Boonville. Neighbors say no one was hurt when rocks came crashing down onto the road. We just checked with a local business, and Old Kentucky 11 is back open this morning. New this morning, a Kentucky police officer is recovering after accidentally shooting himself. It happened in Cincinnati while the off-duty officer was out to dinner with his wife. Cincinnati police say Erlanger officer Darrell Jewett's gun fired as he was adjusting his holster in a parking garage elevator. The bullet ricocheted off the elevator walls before hitting him in the stomach. Officer Jewett is a 25-year veteran of the Erlanger Police Department. Police say his injuries are not life-threatening. New this morning, more than a dozen people are in jail after police discovered a big cockfight. State police said an anonymous tip led troopers to a barn in Clinton County near the Tennessee border. Troopers say they found a cockfight in progress. 23 chickens were removed from the barn. 15 people were arrested. 14 of them are from Kentucky, one from Illinois. Six of the people arrested are from Monticello. All are charged with animal cruelty and criminal trespassing. 
Well, thousands of students, including those in Fayette County, are headed back to school today. The end of holiday break comes amid a rise in flu cases. WKOT's Mark Barber is live to explain how you can protect your family. Good morning. Good morning, Rebecca and Bill. Yeah, the school bus drivers here in Fayette County have cranked up these school buses. They're warming them up at the moment. They're getting ready to take these students back to school. But health officials say before students get on the buses and head back into the classroom today, they want parents to know that they are heading into classrooms during peak flu season. Now, illnesses shut down five central Kentucky school systems before Christmas break, but doctors say the flu has been more active than normal, and they say it could get even worse because we are now in peak flu season. Now, because of that, doctors want parents to know what to look out for with their children. They say if your student has a sore throat, runny nose, fever, or aching muscles, keep them at home because once they're back in school, sickness spreads quickly. People cough or sneeze. Um, and, it, and the mist goes out in the air, another person that comes in close contact, that's how it's usually spread, or through uh, someone not washing their hands properly and then they put their hands up to their mouth. Now, doctors say to stay healthy, practice good hygiene, wash those hands. They also say it is important to get a flu shot if you have not already done so. They say it's not too late. Live in Lexington, Mark Barber, WKYT. Well, jury selection begins today in the trial of an accused Boston Marathon attacker, one of two. Prosecutors say Joe Carson and I have carried out the twin bombings that killed three people and injured more than 260 near the finish line of the race in 2013. Jury selection alone is expected to take weeks and could be slowed if potential jurors express objections to the death penalty. An American health care worker who was exposed to the Ebola virus while working in Sierra Leone is being observed in a U.S. hospital. The patient landed in Omaha yesterday and was taken straight to the Nebraska Medical Center, which has a specialized biocontainment unit. The head of the unit says the patient is still ill, or that is not ill at this point, and not considered to be contagious. An explosion rocked a fireworks factory in South America. And after seeing that video, it's surprising no one was seriously hurt. A TV crew was filming nearby. The blast knocked the photographer to the ground. He and a reporter took shelter behind a car. The explosion and the fire that followed destroyed five warehouses.